Take it away, take it away, feeling too good to me Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough Too caught up in your love I've been trying to forget But you won't let me Something in my brain wants you I've been hanging by myself Asking for help But nothing seems to work on you Yeah, Hey beauties, welcome back for some more homemaking motivation. If you're new here, my name is Shanti. You guys make sure you continue to watch this video in its entirety because somewhere later in the video, I will have the information about the 20,000 subscriber giveaway. Now, wait a second, y'all. Y'all gonna have to forgive me. Look how many times I done messed with my hair since the video started and we only, what, a minute in? You guys, look, that's not my life. I don't know why I didn't grab a clip as I was editing this. I said, who are you really, okay? Even if you've been following me for two videos, you know full well that my hair is always in a ponytail or a bun. This is not what I do. I try to change it up for y'all ever so often, but look, I can't even keep myself together because it's so annoying for me. I don't know how people clean their homes with their hair down. Kudos to y'all. I just can't do it. You never leave my thoughts alone. You're the reason I'm going out my mind I just can't stop thinking about you You got me feeling some type of way You, you make me want to stay in on it you, You're the reason I can't get out my head I just can't stop thinking about you just can't stop thinking about you I just can't stop thinking about you I just can't stop thinking about you I just can't stop thinking about you I'm using the method all-purpose cleaner to clean off the dresser and dust. Now, I would typically use my method wood for good to do that because you guys know how much I love my wood for good, but it was downstairs and this was upstairs. Being loved and treated differently, yeah. But something went wrong, the signals got crossed, and now we're on completely different pages. Let's go where we were, when no one gets Pick the pace up, we should take it slow Baby, keep your focus, don't you make me change my mind If you love me, baby, don't you switch up the vibe Baby, don't you, baby, don't you Baby, don't you switch up the vibe Baby, don't you, baby, don't you Baby, don't you switch up the vibe Will you take me on a trip? So I have to mention this vacuum every single time I use it because I absolutely love it. I feel like it's definitely worth the investment. It's called the Shark Apex Uplight. Go left, I'm stuck here feeling left behind. Cause something went wrong, the signals got crossed. And now we're going different directions. Let's go where we were, when no one gets hurt. Baby, keep it right there, don't you stress the Trying to pick the pace up, we should take it slow Baby, keep your focus, don't you make me change my mind If you love me, baby, don't you switch up the vibe Baby, don't you baby. So this week's motivational quote is 
you don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. And you guys, this applies to me so much because your girl has started her health and fitness journey. I have been working out, y'all. I have been getting it, okay? But it's not easy, but starting was the hardest part, and I'm just so proud that I started. If you kill them, you're gonna kill us too. Baby, keep it right there. Don't you stress the flow. You're trying to pick the base up. We should take it slow. Baby, keep your focus. Don't you make me change my mind. If you love me, baby, don't you switch up the vibe. Baby, don't you. Okay, so I just wanted to go ahead and start dinner. We're going to be making barbecue chicken sliders and homemade coleslaw. And then we're going to be making the barbecue chicken in the crock pot. So right here, I've already cleaned and seasoned the boneless skin as chicken breasts. Here are the seasonings I use for the chicken. Okay, so in a bowl, we're going to go ahead and mix some Sweet Baby Ray's Honey Barbecue Sauce. That was maybe about a cup. Next, we're going to add some minced garlic. That's about a tablespoon. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce this, y'all, because I can't. But you need about a tablespoon and a half to two tablespoons of this W sauce. About a teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes. About a teaspoon of honey. Two tablespoons of brown sugar. And then y'all, I typically add apple cider vinegar, but I don't have it. So I'm just going to go ahead and put about a, a tablespoon or two of this white vinegar. And then lastly, we're going to add about a fourth cup of chicken broth. And then we'll just whisk this all together. Now you guys know if you've been following me for a long time, I don't measure things. This is why I'm just trying to give you a guesstimate of the measurements because I don't measure. I just like toss it in there and... You know, it comes out how it comes out. So this time hear it on the phone. If you got something to say to me. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and put the chicken inside the crock pot and then we'll cover it with the sauce. About what you're out. Think you owe me an apology. Just say it to my face, you so now we'll cover it and let it cook on high for about six hours. Okay, so next we're going to go ahead and get started on the coleslaw. A lot of you guys have told me you do not know how to make homemade coleslaw, and it is super easy, you guys. Like I said before, I do not have apple cider vinegar. I would prefer to have that. And then also, um, I'm using yellow mustard, but you can also use dry mustard. I have a 14 ounce bag of coleslaw. Feel free to chop up your cabbage and carrots if you like, but I don't like doing that, so I just always buy it in a bag. You could also take all these ingredients um, and like whisk them in a bowl and then top it on, like put it on top of the coleslaw and then mix it in like that. But I'm not gonna do that today. I'm just gonna go ahead and dump everything in here and then mix it together. You need about a cup of mayo. Your mind in the shining times, yeah. I just can't accept you leaving me when I'm old. About two tablespoons of vinegar, I deserve the truth for some black pepper, about a teaspoon, some kosher salt, so this time you don't need too much, maybe about a fourth teaspoon or a half teaspoon, about a teaspoon of mustard, then say it. and then about three or four tablespoons of sugar. So now we're just going to go ahead and mix this all up. Okay, so once you have it completely mixed up, go ahead and add the top and then refrigerate it for at least two hours. Okay guys, so we're here in the hallway that leads to the laundry room. Pay no attention to how full that laundry basket is. We'll get to that in a second. But I am sick and tired of how this wall looks. I'm ashamed to say those three picture frames have been empty, I think since we bought this house um, almost seven years ago. I know, that's a pitiful shame, but this is, maybe it hasn't been seven years, I don't know. It's probably been five years, but they've been up there for a minute, okay? And they have been empty. Nevertheless, I'm tired of how this looks. 
So I've got a few new pieces that I want to put on, uh, on the wall. And I ordered a piece like well over two months ago and I still haven't got it. So I'm just going to go ahead and put up the new decor that I have. And actually my husband is going to help me. I fall behind, fall behind every time that you're around. And it's a lie, it's a lie when I say that I'll be fine. So that distressed faux window, if you guys been watching my vlogging channel, then you have seen that a while ago, but we're just not getting around to hang it where well, my husband is. And that wall planter that my husband is hanging, it came from a company called Interior Delights. But since I've purchased it, it's been out of stock. I stay alive, stay alive because I feel ready now. Right here, I'm just applying a command strip so I can hang the basket that you guys will see here in a second, but it fell down later on in the day. So I, what I did was I just stuck a tack in the wood and it's been working ever since. I always get asked about where I get the greenery that's hanging down and it's just garland that I get from Hobby Lobby and I just cut it and use it all around my house. Whatever they call us, whatever they'll do They're running in circles, circle of fools Whatever we will means got nothing to prove But in the dark I'm starting to Whatever they call us, whatever they'll do We're running together, I'm here for you Whatever we will means Okay guys, so I'm really happy with how this came out. Like I said before, this is not the completed look because I still have a piece that I'm waiting for. And then also I need to find the perfect piece to go right here on the wall. I was initially going to order two of those uh, wall planners, but I can't because as you can see the light switch is right there. So I just have to figure out what I'm going to put there because I don't know what I'm going to put there as of right now. But the piece that I'm waiting for is actually going to go underneath here. And <laughs> Whatever they call us, whatever they do, they're running in circles, circle of fools. Whatever we will, means got nothing to prove. 
Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and tackle this laundry room. You guys, I have so much to fold. I have all the clothes right there in that laundry bin. And then I have the towels right here on the counter. And there's actually even some clothes in the dryer, I believe. We find something new, but in the dark I'm starting to. If you've been following me for a while, then you guys know that I love watching YouTube, listening to music, listening to a podcast while I clean because it helps to distract me. Um, but I'm so happy because for my birthday, my husband and oldest daughter bought me that iPad and y'all, I couldn't be more happy. Okay. Because it's just a bigger picture and I'm absolutely loving it. If you guys miss my birthday vlog, I will have that link down below in the description box. With all your lights and your colors, I'm in love with all your nights, but you kept me far away from my focus. And to my heart I cannot lie Stars made of stars Up above made to fall Stars counting stars And they guide me through the dark Lonely days left in despair Air is getting heavier but I do my best to breathe Dreams of green and filled with bliss Life is so much more than this So where do you go When nothing's like Okay, so where are my beauties at that are like me, where you love to wash, but folding can go and go somewhere? You guys, I just don't understand myself. Sometimes I go through these periods where I'm doing so well, and I am folding all the clothes as they come out the dryer, and then I go through periods like this, and this is basically how I live my life right here, To be, if I'm being honest. I'll just go ahead and just tuck it in that um, laundry, what's that thing called? What's that thing called? Laundry bin, laundry basket, whatever that is, girl, I just tuck them away. I got a new friend in my life that perfect and you're no longer on my mind sun warming sun and my life's just begun sun under the sun i'll be fine and you'll be gone when nothing's like Okay guys, so I have folded and put away all the clothes. Now it's time for the socks. And this is the part that I dread y'all because I always have so many mismatched socks left over. Heavier, but I do my best to breathe. But I do my best to breathe. Some green and filled with this. Life is so much more than this. So where do you go when nothing's like home? Okay, guys, so I'm done folding the socks, but look at this. This I'm talking about, you guys. I always have a mountain of socks left over, so I do have a basket of clothes upstairs I need to fold, but y'all ain't folding them the, those clothes today, so I'll just go ahead and politely put this stack in the basket of clothes upstairs. Okay, so I just wanted to quickly share this small decor haul with you guys. So I got these baskets from Five Below. They were $5 each. Shout out to Kate. She's one of my subscribers. Amazing. You're the one who told me about this. Um, these baskets to go get these. And I was able to get 10 of them. I've used two of them already. But anyways, you guys, make sure you're checking out your Five Below. I don't exactly know where I'm going to put these right now. But I'm, I love baskets. You guys know that. And I can always find a use for them. So I love finding little like plants like these because I can just put them everywhere. They can go on tier trays, shelves, anywhere, um, like, you know, trays, just, just about anywhere. They were only $5 and I got them from Target. And on the website, they said they were hearth in hand, but looking at the bottom, it doesn't say that. So I'm just not sure, I'm not sure um, what brand they are, but 
yeah, it did say hearth and hand on the website. Nevertheless, they were $4.99 each, and they have a couple, like these two are the same, and this one's slightly different. And then I ordered two other ones, but I just haven't received them yet. I got this super cute pillow for Khaleesi's room from Home Goods. It was only $16.99. And then Khaleesi's uh, comforter that she has on her bed right now, you guys, it has like a couple stains that won't come out. And then also a while back when Junior was like scissor happy, he had cup cut a couple holes in it. So I've been needing to replace it. But I found this duvet at the same time I found this pillow at Home Goods, And it was $39.99. We're going to open this up and go ahead and toss it in the washer in a second. And then if you guys have been following me over on my vlogging channel, you have already seen these items. I've had them for a couple of weeks. They all came from the Target Dollar Spot. Here are two trays. I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to use both trays in Khaleesi's room. Two little shelves, which are super, super lightweight. So um, you wouldn't be able to, I, I'm not going to be able to put like anything heavy on here, but I thought they were really cute. One little basket and then two mirrors. And they do have a... Um, thing on the back so they can be hung on the wall but I don't know if I'll put them on the wall or not the mirrors were three dollars each and then all of the other items were five dollars each like I said in the target dollar spot you don't wanna talk but there's a battle in my heart and no thoughts keep on running wild is it possible you sleep with someone else between your sheets and this sheet So the chicken is all the way done. We're gonna remove it from the crock pot and go ahead and shred it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and shred the chicken with this hand mixer. Just be careful not to over, sh over shred it, you guys, because if you over shred it, the chicken will come out mushy. Now this step is optional. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more barbecue sauce. I'm gonna stir it around and then I'll add it back to the sauce in the crock pot and then I'll plate it and show you guys what it looks like. And here's what dinner looks like plated. And just in case you're curious, these are the mini sub rolls that I used. Okay you guys, so now I'm in Khaleesi's room and her room needs some help. It may not look super bad, but it is. Um, she does clean her room by herself all week long. But as you can see, she cleans it like a six-year-old would clean it. And so she just like shoves things places. So um, this is a whole bunch of like baby stuff. I can't stand when she does this. This is still her Easter basket. That's my fault. But There's clothes that need to be put up that I folded. She has a stack of books over here. I don't know why that's there. And then she has two junk drawers right here. Well, I don't know. Well, they are junk drawers. Nevertheless, they have her arts and crafts and things that she uses. But I don't think she needs two. I think there's a lot of stuff we can get rid of in these drawers. So I'm, so I'm going to go through both those drawers and finally organize and get rid of everything that she doesn't need. Because we actually need one of those drawers to be freed up so I can put her play clothes in one of those drawers. And then once I'm done cleaning and organizing the room, that's when I put up all the new decor. And I myself need cleaning motivation, so I'm watching my girl Cleosha. Next, I'll probably watch Jessie Christine and just go from there. You made this work. I made this worse. We felt apart a thousand times, a thousand times. You moved away. I'm here to stay. I wish I could go back in time, back in time. I'm so sorry that I hurt you so deep. Swear I 
I see that plastic hanging from the box spring um we will be taking that off of them. i'll have my husband take that off soon i didn't realize how tacky it looked anyways i'm curious to know how often do you guys deep clean your kids rooms and then also right here i'm spraying the mattress down with lysol spray i do that every single time i change the sheets and then even sometimes during the week i'll just spray everybody's bed down with um lysol spray in between sheet changes if that makes sense it's safe to say like Y'all, even though I just started, I'm feeling discouraged because this is giving me anxiety. This looks like what is going on right here? It's just so much, it's just so much stuff, y'all. So what I'm gonna do, what I typically do is, especially because I need to get to the dresser, I'm gonna move everything, I'm gonna get everything off the floor, get everything off the dresser, off the desk, I mean, and I'm just gonna go ahead and put it right here on the bed. That way, and when I put it on the bed, I'm trying to put it into like categories, like clothes, blankets, toys, whatever, y'all. I just have to get some organization because this. Anyway, I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking she has way too much stuff, and that's okay. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion, but she just is a little girl, so we don't mind her having dolls and Barbies and all the accessories to go along with it because one day she won't want to play with all this stuff. Anyways, um, I try my best to organize it, but like I told you guys before, Kalisi cleans her own room during the week for the most part. I'll just come in here and like help her make the bed better or, you know, just little things that we do. But for the most part, she cleans it during the week. So this is what, you know, happens. And considering I haven't come in here and actually like cleaned it myself, like a deep cleaning in probably like three weeks, this is what happens. Face, my face, babe, once you come back to me, make no mistake. just mostly clothes that are left on the desk that I need to put away I picked up everything right in front of her dresser so now I can go through the dresser but first I'm gonna go ahead and put the clothes away and then I'm gonna go ahead and finish what I started a couple days ago that's why her closet looks so scarce I'm gonna finish going through and get out the things that she can no longer fit
Okay, so let's talk about the 20,000 subscriber giveaway. So I'm going to be giving away $100 via PayPal. So don't worry if you don't have PayPal. PayPal, PayPal is free to sign up for. And I will have a link down below in my description box, just in case you don't know how to go about doing it. But it's just very simple. You only have to be subscribed over here on this channel. I would like you to leave me a message down below in the comment section. Let me know if you won. What would you spend your $100 on? I don't care what it is. It could be, you know, just a little trip to home goods, a mani petty, you're going to load your Starbucks card, whatever it is, pay your Wi-Fi bill. Okay. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter to me. Just let me know down below. I will be picking the winner randomly, but if you like a second and third chance to win, so basically like second and third entry, so you can like just put your name out there. If you want to follow me over an in Instagram, that's considered a second or third, uh, a second entry. And then if you want to follow me on my vlogging channel, that is a third entry. So all you have to do is basically copy paste your message, you know, telling me what you spend your hundred dollars on DM me over on Instagram, and then just leave me a comment on my most recent blog over on my vlogging channel. I will be announcing the winner two videos from now. So I believe that will be Sunday, May 30th. If these rules don't really make sense to you guys, I will have them written down below in the description box. Good luck, everybody. All right, y'all, let me give you an update to where we're at. My memory card got full, so I had to cut the camera off and then upload um, some of the footage to the MacBook so I can have room. I need to finish making up the bed. I don't know if the camera's picking up, but there are tons of crumbs here on the desk, so I need to go ahead and wipe the desk off. And then finally get rid of the last bit of Easter, like springish decor in here. I've already swept the floor really well. All I need to do is vacuum this rug, but I'll do that at the end. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be changing this rug out in the near future. And yeah, so I just went downstairs and I air dried my kids clothes. So I took the clothes out of the washer. I didn't film that. Of course, like I said, I didn't have any memory, but I went ahead and just like air dried her clothes and she does have more clothes, but she d she's definitely in the need of some clothes. So we will be going shopping and I'll be picking her up a few things in the near future. But yeah, we're basically at the home stretch. All I, like I said, all I have to do is wipe this desk off, finish making the bed up. I'll have to vacuum at the end and then I'll start putting up the decor. I think this little tray looks super cute right here. I love this vase with the pompous grass. I got this pompous grass from Amazon. It looks really cute, but I'm not sure if I would recommend it because it just falls apart so easily. I don't know if all pompous grass is like that or just the cheapy kind. I don't know, but it was like $20, $20 on Amazon. Actually, I don't remember how much it was. Don't give me a line, y'all. Okay, but I'm not saying I would recommend it only because as soon as you touch it, like if I lift these stems up right now, um, they would just come out but anyways I think it looks super cute I was gonna go ahead and remove her tear tray from right here and then just put that tray over here but I love her tear tray and I love that for different seasons and holidays I can decorate it Not that a couple of drinks could ease my mind I've been thinking of you for two weeks straight I know that I need to get myself back in the game someone said your name had a ton of room. Suddenly you're there standing in the crowd Everything comes back in the blink of an eye It's like you're mine, you're still mine They skip the small talk Cause you know me better than I Know myself for my spit a while now Since I saw you But it feels like yesterday somehow Time has stopped Okay guys, so I'm absolutely loving how this looks. I think it looks super cute. I love these like little pom-pom um, type things. And the material is like a linen. So yes, it looks a little wrinkly, but 
I don't mind that that's perfectly fine and if it does start to bother me I can come in here with my hand steamer and then just get those out but right now it's perfectly fine so I have these items left and I'm just not exactly sure where I want to put them I'm thinking about removing those flowers on the wall because I've just been wanting to remove those for a while anyways and I think that's where I'm gonna put these little shelves so I'm gonna try that and see how that looks as far as this basket I don't know where to put that if I don't use everything that's completely fine because I can utilize them somewhere else in the house it's like you're mine. You're still mine. skip the small talk cause you know me happy with how everything turned out I thought I had an insert for the duvet but I don't so I ordered one and it should be here in a couple of days So that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to head down to the description box. Check out my birthday vlog link if you're interested. Also in the description box, I'll have the PayPal link. If you don't already have a PayPal, don't forget to leave me a comment if you do plan on entering the 20,000 subscriber giveaway. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please be sure to do so. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you can know when I upload future videos. And until next time, everybody, bye. So make me do what